Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Remember to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything that I'm doing here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your support. So I have here my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, which is the old style planner. Now they're just called the Monthly Planner. This is the 8.5 by 11. It is the larger size. And I'm getting ready to do my week one from September budget check-in. So if you want to see how I did this week, stay tuned. <music> Alright, so as I said, this is my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, and I am going to do the check-in for September for week one. Now, I've already gone down and added in the expense stickers that apply for the days that I'm checking in on. Now, my plan for weekly check-ins will be to go from Sunday, or no, I'm from Saturdays to Fridays. Um, but since September started here on Tuesday, this check-in will be for Tuesday to Saturday. And then next week I'll do from Sunday to Friday and then we'll get back on a regular schedule. So actually maybe I could leave the Saturday out and just follow the regular schedule after. We'll see how it goes. Um, or maybe we could just do this way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Either way, we are going to do the first week check-in, and then we'll go over my Paycheck 1 budget just to see if where we're at with that, and we'll also update the monthly budget a little bit with any of the bills that have already been paid. So we'll do that. So let's go to weekly check-in. Let me get my blue pen if I can find it. I don't have my blue pen. Okay, well, it's going to be black then. All right, so categories, and I want to make sure that I get them in the same order every month. So we have, let me zoom you in a little bit. So for our categories, we have groceries, we have gas, we have restaurants, we have other, and we have unbudgeted. Now, I often get questions about what is this other category, and that is essentially anything that I budget for in the month, let's say birthdays or stuff like that, um, that are not part of my sinking funds. If I make them an other category, then I know I'm expecting them. And then unbudgeted is anything that I really didn't budget for. So let's go ahead and look at what we have. So we had no extra spending on the first, just bills. We had a no spend day on Wednesday, so that's exciting, two days. Then Thursday and Friday were big spend days. So I only have one grocery category and that's for 37.15. So I will put that down, so 37.15. And we'll go through the balances after. So I'll check that off. We have no gas expenses this week, so I will put zero dollars here. Then we have, I'm going to go ahead and include Saturday. We have three restaurant expenses, so we have $13.09 plus $80.72 plus Dairy Queen, which was $23.57. So that's a total of 117.38. So 117.38 for the first week. Other was a big expense because I did have my sister-in-law's birthday, which I ended up spending a little bit more. And then I ended up spending some things for back to school. And so um, we'll add that up. So 82.74. 59, 47, and then 35. So that's 177, 21. 
177.21, and then we had no unbudgeted, so that's exciting. Week one, no unbudgeted. I love it. So we'll just check these off that we have accounted for them. And now we can go ahead and do the balances. So for groceries, um, we spent 37.15. Now if you look down here, for food and restaurants, I had bulked them together at twelve fifty. Now four hundred of that was for restaurants, and eight fifty was for food. So I will keep that in mind when doing these calculations. So if I go eight fifty minus thirty seven fifteen, we are at a balance of eight hundred and twelve dollars and eighty five cents left for the month, which is good. Gas we budgeted six hundred. So I will leave it because we haven't spent anything yet this week, but I do know that I need to fill up tomorrow actually, which is Sunday. So I will have to add something for the next week. Now restaurants, I said we budgeted $400. So minus 117.38. So that leaves us with 282.62. And then for un uh, no for other other we budgeted four hundred dollars and we spent one seventy seven twenty one so four hundred minus one seventy seven twenty one so that is two twenty two seventy nine left for the month. And then unbudgeted, we are still at zero. So that's pretty good for the first week. It's encouraging. We still have really good amounts left for the rest of the month. The one that might concern me is the restaurants because we do tend out, we do tend to eat a little bit more than we should at restaurants. But I am trying really hard to bring that down. So we will just have to keep an eye on that. But so far, week one is looking good. So. Now I'm going to flip to the first paycheck budget and we will go over, actually I shouldn't have folded that over because I do need to refer to my monthly. So we're going to go ahead and calculate where we're at so far. So as in terms of pay, so my actual pay was $2,418.00. And 46 cents and then I hadn't added anything for other here because I wasn't sure but I will add it now zero and my mother did send me $60 and that is for her Netflix account and my dad's cell phone so I will go ahead and add those up 2418 46 plus 60 so that is a total of $2,478.46. So that means I am over, or I brought in $18.46 more, and this was an extra 60. So that means 78.46. So that's pretty good. Now the van payment did come out at $267.55. Disney Plus came out at $8.99. Adobe has not come out yet. Neither has Netflix because that is another category or another week. Sorry, it's for next week. So, so far we just have these two that have been taken out and we still have the rest here that have to be dealt with. So that's it for the first paycheck so far. So we have the pay and we have the bills that have been taken out so far, this first paycheck. And now we will go over to the September budget, the monthly budget overview. So I did pay rent, which was $1,750. All right, I just went to check some numbers because I couldn't remember the breakdown here. So I did pay rent, which was $1,750, so that stays the same for heat. Um, it is one twenty nine twelve. So we are over budget. So I will put we are over by four dollars and twelve cents. 
and and that's not for heating the house just in case you're wondering it is for a water heater and stuff so um i think i have to look into that because we usually don't spend that much so hydro was 6747 so that means we are under so 90 minus 6747 so we are under by 22 53 so that's good now one good thing is I thought September was the month where we pay our water bill but it isn't so we're not paying water so I will put that we are under by 150 just because we're not paying it so that's exciting so van payment we've made the first payment but I'm not ready to add that up these ones haven't come out yet I did pay the 110 for internet, so that's done. All right, gymnastics. Remember I told you it was actually 284, but then they added $15 per month for cleaning since they have to do extra cleaning. Now they've added an extra $5 per person per month um, because they have to use a separate field for the warm up and cool down. So I wasn't expecting that. So we actually paid $304. So that means we were over by $4. It's not super huge, big deal, but we are still over. So, all right, Netflix has not been taken out yet. Crave's not taken out yet. Disney was $8.99. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to fuss about a penny. Amazon, no. Microsoft, no. Adobe, no. No. And those are all variable expenses. So that's where we're at so far with the monthly September budget with the in expenses that were actually, you know what, I forgot to add the rollover. Oh, well, I can't add it because I may get extra money. So I can't add what we have so far. I know what the rollover was, but I may have more other. So I'm going to leave that blank for now. All right. So that's where we're at. Hopefully this helps give you a good view of what our budget looks like so far after this first week in September. So here's a better view of everything we've done. So we did our first week weekly check-in. We checked in with the monthly budget and then we also checked in with our first paycheck budget. So, so far we're doing good. I hope this gives you a good idea of what you can be doing with your budget and how you can check in with it regularly, just so you stay on top of your numbers. So remember to like and subscribe if you're new and click that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.